to Crafting Made Easy. For this video, I will be talking all things packaging. So I just finished doing a video on shipping. So if you have not seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Um, I'll probably tag it on the end of this video so you can just click it and go to it right away and see all things shipping. If you've already seen all things shipping, welcome to all things packaging. <laughs> this will be added to my business um, section or business playlist. So all things about business to help your business grow. Um, uh, like I said in a um, shipping video, I'm in a ton of craft groups and one of the main questions versus shipping is packaging. How do you package your cup so it won't break? How do you package your tumbler? How do you package your rolling tray? Your this, your that. These are important questions and packaging will help you with shipping. So the better you package your item, the less you'll have to pay in shipping. So, um, and I'll get into how you can do that. I own a business called Shopping with Lolo, and I also own a business up at midnight. I don't really do the shopping at Lolo business um, a lot anymore. I mostly do it local where people can just kind of pick up if they need to versus shipping because the shipping with that stuff can get kind of pricey because those items are heavy. Um, and the boxes are, yeah. So... I try to stay away from shipping those things out. But if I have to, I know how to do it now. Um, it took me like a couple weeks or, yeah, it took me like a couple weeks to kind of get it like, wait a minute, I'm paying way too much in shipping. <laughs> so it kind of took me a couple of uh, trial and errors to figure out the best way to kind of ship it. So I just wanted to kind of bring that to you in my shipping video and in my packaging video especially now when i do up at midnight custom designs llc i ship like a lot of shirts mugs um keychains bracelets i ship a lot of those things so that was kind of like trial and error to kind of figure out how to package those items so i can get the best bang for my buck as far as shipping goes because you have to weigh some of your things to get the best shipping possible um and then you want to put it in a nice size box because if the box is irregular then your shipping can go up because the box is irregular the box may be heavy all of this other good stuff so packaging your items is key um to get your items well let's just let me just go down what i uh <laughs> did so packaging kind of depends on what you ship what you make and how you ship it basically so you need boxes envelopes bubble mailers polys depending on what you're shipping so if you're just doing stickers you may just need envelopes if you're doing shirts you may need poly mailers if you're doing uh, mugs you may need longer boxes i'm not longer boxes that's for tumblers you may need like square shaped boxes or something like that um, but you definitely would need like bubble wrap you would need the air filled bubble wrap i'm gonna get into that um, something to kind of judge it up. So tissue paper, confetti, et cetera, whatever you want to use, peanuts, uh, custom boxes, all of this stuff. So we're going to get into packaging and we're going to have a good old time. Hopefully this video won't be too long. Um, so what I do, I, like I said, I ship shirts, bracelets, mugs. Um, my tumblers have mostly been local, so I haven't shipped any tumblers. Um... Have I shipped a tumbler? No, I have not shipped a tumbler. I was um mugs. Um bracelets, shirts, mugs, keychains. I'm trying to think. And I think that's um like waist beads, but that goes into the bracelets category. Um so all of those, yeah, so those are not really big or heavy items. The mugs can get kind of heavy, especially if they're ordering like two, especially when I was selling um it was senior stuff or whatever. Um, I'm sorry, my phone was ringing. Um, when it was senior stuff and I had the senior mugs and stuff, people was buying like five at a time. So if you are if you don't package that stuff right, it could get heavy, shipping goes up. So what I like to use is air fill bubble wrap or bubble things. I'm not sure what you call these things, but I use this. And whenever I get a package and it has this in it, I save it. I put it in, um, I have a drawer here and then I have like an overstock down in the basement with like my uh, family members, my girlfriend, like whoever. If they get, I'm like, look, if you get this, 
save it. <laughs> I will come pick up the box of uh, this later, but kind of just put it to the side for me. Because these are what people say a game changer. They will make your package so light, you don't even feel like it's anything in the box. Also, I also use peanuts. They are, these are pink peanuts, but I got these from UPS and I want, I paid $5.99 for it and it was still all the way up to the top, like all the way up to the top and it was $5.99. So these are good too to put at the bottom of your box, especially if you have like um, mugs or anything. Those are good because it lifts it up, it cushions it and then if you put this with, around it or whatever or... Sometimes I split it and put one here, one here, you know, um, it will lift it up. It'll make your package light. You won't have to worry about it bumping and shifting or anything like that. And when you weigh it, because like if you weigh something, let me see, let me turn this on. Like you can't see it, but I'm about to read it off to you. Here we go. So right now it says 6.9 ounces, this bottle, 6.9, it's like alcohol. So I put it with my uh, bubble thing. Right now it went down to 6.5 ounces. So if you package your stuff right, if you package it right, it will, you won't, um, your shipping will go down. I can't lay it on there right, but um, there we go. So it will come down a lot with your shipping. So just keep that in mind. Just use these, use peanuts, make your box less than what it is, basically. I was trying to do it with my phone, see? <laughs> my bad, y'all. But I just like to see the number go down. But if you put enough of this on there or in your package, it will also protect your item and it will also help your shipping. Also, I use bubble wrap. So these I got off of Amazon. You put your um, cup in there or, yeah, mostly I put cups in there. I'm trying to rip it. Board. There we go. So these are little baggy bubble wrap. So I like to flip it inside out. I do it like this so the bubbles are touching my product. And I put my cup in there. I don't have a cup sitting beside me right now. But you put your cup in there. And then it has like the sticky part at the top. Now since I do it reverse, I just kind of fold this over. And then I'll put like tape around it too. So it kind of protects your item uh, from getting broken or anything like that so adding this plus this and then peanuts your package is good to go um they have boxes let me see Ouch. so i have these here that i got from walmart and they are small boxes and they're big enough to fit a mug that's already in a box in here so this is the depth there so if you're just shipping one mug, you can get this box from um, Walmart. And let me see. I have a mug in a box here. So mug in a box, you sit. And I put the, I leave the, so this is what I do. So this box, I mean not this box, this is the regular little cup right here, right? So it comes in this little plastic thing. I'm not sure what that's protecting, but whatever. So uh, I'll get the little baggie, and flip it inside out here, pretend it has a design, and just stick it in there. Lord, I can't get it. Here we go. And just stick it in there, like so. Put this here, put it on like that, it's all bubble wrapped and everything. And then I put it back in the box, however it went. Of course I can't lay it back down there the way it was. 
this is not perfect this is like off rip and of course this is not how the thing goes but you put it back in the box the way it came out okay <laughs> i can't get it right now but you put it in there it will fit in there because i've done it several times i also put a sticker on here that has my business information on there and i seal it up i put the sticker on top of the lid and then i put some peanuts in there in the box i'm not gonna put it in there now because the bottom is not taped but um you just put that all in there it fits in there nicely you see how it still has some rum and then it's sitting on some peanuts and then i'll stuff like the um well i'll put tissue paper in and make it real cute and then i'll put um the air filled stuff right there so it has peanuts in there the air filled stuff around it i box it up put my little fragile sticker on there put my um oh lord i can't get it put my um tape on there i got this from sticker mule put it like that on there you have to wet it of course and then put my fragile put my late my shipping label and then it's good to go it's ready for shipping and it's lighter than what it originally well yeah turn it back on what it originally was it's kind of weebling wobbling because it's not um boxed up but and my mug is protected and everything like that so it's all good everything is great so let me put this stuff back because then i'll be like well look, i'm supposed to be mailing something <laughs> i don't remember no mug order but uh that's so you get these from walmart and i think this box was 50 cents or something like that or you can get boxes from amazon uline um my dollar tree doesn't have any boxes anymore but dollar tree does sell little boxes too so you can check out dollar tree to get boxes um envelopes you can get anywhere you can get like a big bulk from amazon you can get a big bulk from um you can get some from the post office the priority mail things too um you can get boxes from the post office but the boxes you'll get from the post office will be priority mail and like i said in, sh in my shipping video those can um be expensive so dollar tree amazon walmart uline um you can get boxes from there poly mailers you can get them all from the same places if you want some fancy poly mailers i just use regular blue ones and i have them in different sizes so this is like a medium and then i have a larger size and then i have the bubble mailers so i have these and then i have the little ones which i can't seem to grab right now no that's the big one here they go. And I have the little ones, which I use for maybe if someone buys like one bracelet or one waist bead or whatever, and it can fit in here nicely. I'll put that in there. And then if they order like a ton of other bracelets, keychains, whatever, I'll put in here. Um, but you know, you could put small, your small stuff in there. For my shirts, of course, I use this. And then I use the bigger one, depending on um, how many shirts they ordered, one person ordered or whatever. But for the medium bubble mailer, you can get about two to three shirts. Well, two, I'm going to say about two medium shirts in there. Um, well, I can anyway. And then you put your other information in there too. So we have the boxes, envelopes, bubble mailers, polys. I purchased all my stuff from Amazon. Um, I don't use envelopes because I don't do stickers if i do a sticker it'll be like like a free sticker and then i'll just stick it in with my thank you card my business card and stuff like that but as far as like sticker stickers i don't so um kind of do your research on envelopes but you can purchase envelopes from pretty much anywhere um i told you about the bubble wrap i purchased mm, purchased my bubble wrap the baggies from amazon so i'll have all that in the description box below 
kind of told you about the air fill stuff. The tissue paper. So the tissue paper, I just purchased mine from Walmart. So I get, and it depends on what color you want to get. If you, because it's also about branding, 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 branding. And I'll probably do a separate video on branding. But you want to kind of match your stuff. All of your stuff needs to match. So my theme is blue. So my logo, um, I'm sure this is better. So my logo, this is my logo. It's simple. It's blue, white, a light blue. Yeah, a light blue, a dark blue, and white. So those are the colors that I tend to use as far as all of my packaging goes. Um, I'm using blue bubble, not bubble wrap, bubble <laughs> Blue, um, I mean, if they did have blue bubble wrap, I would use it. But I'm using blue tissue paper, um, blue poly mailers, blue bubble mailers. Um, what else blue do I use? Like, I put my logo on pretty much everything. Um, yeah, so it's basically like blue. I'm trying to think what else blue I use that I can't think of anything. My boxes are white, so that's that's how the mugs come. But I also, like I said, I use this from Sticker Mule, and it's you wet it on the back, and then you just kind of put it around your box, so that's giving it some more branding. Um, my stickers match my logo, um, so I just keep everything in the blue, the dark blue, light blue, and white family, basically. So if you're getting like a package, a bubble, not bubble wrap, tissue paper. The tissue paper I get, it comes 10 in a pack, and I think I pay like um, 99 cents for it. You can buy bigger stacks of tissue paper for cheaper on Amazon, um, but I haven't found the one, the right blue that I want or whatever. So I just get it from either like the dollar store or Walmart, and that has been okay with me as far as that. Now, I do need to kind of do some more research to find like the right blue or the blue that I have right now. I've looked on Amazon for that and it was kind of expensive. And I was like, well, I could just go to Walmart and buy it <laughs> for cheaper. So I'm going to keep researching to see if I could get the blue that I want for and the, enough tissue paper for a good price. Because I purchased some and it came back and I was like, this is not even the color that it showed on the you know, online. So I just kind of gave up on getting it from Amazon, but I'll go back and research it. The confetti, if you want to put confetti in your package, I get that from Dollar Tree. I just purchased this one, which I thought was really cute from Dollar Tree because it has the blue and it has like a little hollow blue and stuff. So these are my colors that match from my um, business card and everything like that. So that was right on point. So I scooped up a whole bunch of them. So you, they're a dollar and you just put like a little bit in there if you want to. You don't have to put a lot. I typically don't put it in my packaging that I'm mailing out. But if I'm making a basket, I'll put it in the basket or something like that. So I kind of do it for stuff like that i don't really put it in my packages because to me that's just messy i do wrap my bracelets in tissue paper and i also wrap my shirts in tissue paper um yeah i just put it in tissue paper put my little care label on there or care instructions on there and then i put it in the plastic bag also well not a plastic bag but They're all wrapped up, but I put them in. Of course, this is not for a t shirt, but <laughs> I put it in a bag like this. I purchased these from Amazon. I have the small ones, it came in like a big package with small, medium, large, and extra large bags. So that's the ones I use. And you just take this off and you fold it over, and boom. So that's what I use for my um shirts. These ones sometimes I put my um. bracelets or waist beads in here but if i put it in the organza bag i don't really put it in here because the organza bag kind of um covers it up or you know protects it and stuff like that so i don't put it in there so i'm trying to kind of figure out what i'm going to put i had put some in there and i really didn't like it so i'm still trying to figure out what i'm going to put those little ones but um you can get all of that from amazon 
um, custom boxes. So if you're doing any type of custom box, like if you're doing um, makeup or um, lip gloss, eyelashes, stuff like that, or you're doing subscription boxes, you can make custom boxes. Amazon sells some boxes um, for a good price. You get like six for, I want to say $20. You can get six of them and they're really cute. I don't have any at this moment, but um, they have like a magnetic lid and if you're making like a bridal box or um, just a regular old gift box, it I can't, I don't have, I took all the mines that I bought from like Joann's and um, yeah, the ones I bought from Joann's and Michael's, I took downstairs in my basement. So I don't have any up here right now. And those are kind of like designer ones. If you wanted to get some that's just like plain white and you want to put your logo or information on there, you can get those from Amazon. Um, you can also get them from like Michael's. They have the photo boxes, but those are not magnetic. You just kind of lift the lid up and stuff like that. But you can get those from those places and you can make it like customize it your, your own special way. Um, put your tum you can put a tumbler in there with like a bit of the confetti or the bubble wrap or when I do baskets I usually put like tissue paper at the bottom or um newspaper with tissue paper covering the top and then confetti and then I lay like stuff out or whatever so you can get um those boxes from there if you want to do kind of more like more make it your own type thing you can also go to different businesses. Um, I think Uline does customization. I know Sticker Mule does it where you can send your logo and they'll put it on your bubble mailer and you get your bubble mailers and your logo and everything is already on there. It's in, you know, it's printed on the, so it's like sublimation kind of, like it's in the plastic or in the poly mailer. Um, so you don't have to worry about it washing off or getting wet or anything like that as far as like because if you do a sticker and it's sitting the package sitting outside your sticker is getting wet and stuff like that but with the bubble mailer you can um just get it customized like that it can get kind of pricey if you're just starting out you may just want to go with a sticker route um but if you've been doing it for a while and you're like you know what i want to get more i want when my package gets there or goes traveling, I want people to be like, oh, okay, what's up at midnight? Mm, let me look at this. Let me look at that. And do it that way. So you can go to Uline. Now, I'm not 100% sure about Uline doing custom. I think they do. Yes, they do. Um, but I know Sticker Mule, they recently um, sent some stuff saying that they do customized polys and all the other stuff. So check them out. Amazon has a few stores because people have stores on Amazon and if you look at poly mailers you can click on if it's a store and they customize they those particular stores sometimes customize poly mailers too so you can reach out to them and they can um, customize it for you so just kind of think of those things as far as um, business cards thank you cards um, you want to put that in there. You don't necessarily have to, but it is very nice to just send like a little thank you for your order, especially send your business card. You can get, you can print them yourself using your cutting machine if you have one, or you just, you know, just your computer and you can print it out on um, cardstock, cut around it, put it in there, boom. So if you wanted to do that yourself, you could do that yourself. I typically use Vistaprint. Um, it's another one that sends samples of their cards and stickers. And I think it's free print. Shoot, I cannot think of the name <laughs> of the, I'll look it up and then I'll probably put it across the screen or something like that. But they'll send you samples of their cards to show you how thick they are and stuff like that. Um, they can be a little more pricey than Vistaprint because Vistaprint has more promotions and stuff so just kind of weigh your pros and cons on that but i do like the fact that they give you like a big pay it's like a big thick envelope of all of their business cards all of their stickers like all of that it's like a free sample pack so you can kind of figure out which type of card you want so um check them out i want to say it's freeimprints.com i'll look it up um what else oh and you can also get it from canva so i did purchase some um, business not business cards thank you cards from canva that i made 
on Canva. They came out really big. I think this is like a five by seven or something like that. So I was like, oh, these are nice, but they are too huge. <laughs> I want something like on this scale, like a four by six type thing. I think these are, like I said, five by seven. But you can make your own cards your own thank you cards your own business cards and if you don't want to print them at home or take them to like staples or um what's the other thing i haven't seen them around in a while so i don't even know if they still in business but it used to be uh oh i can't think of the print place but i can't think of it because i haven't seen them around or hear them mention but you can take it to any printing station or whatever by downloading it onto your thumb drive, taking it, and then they can print it out, and then you can go home, cut it out on, you know, on their paper, or they can cut it out, whatever. But, um, or you can have it printed from Canva, Canva, and they'll print out, I think it was a hundred, and it was kind of expensive, I want to say. It was like $13 or something like that, but these, again, were five by sevens. If I probably did like a smaller size, it wouldn't have been as expensive, but I did want to see what it looked like if I wanted to go that route. So I went ahead and go paid the $13.99. And it's not bad quality or anything like that. But if that's what you, if you want to go on Canva, design your own stuff and send it to them to print it out, they'll just mail it to you. And there you go, you got your stuff. Or you can, um, like I said, make it on Canva, put it on U UBS and, um, print it at any like printing station or something like that so you can do that too care instructions are important if you do like shirts or um jewelry you can make care instructions so they can get the best quality out of their jewelry um but especially for like t-shirts especially the vinyl type of t-shirts you want to give them something so they can um be sure to take care of it now nine times out of ten they do not <laughs> They do not read those care instructions. I have had friends who purchase shirts and they are like, uh, my stuff is kind of, they had it for a while. So like, yeah. And they're like, my um, vinyl is um, lifting up or whatever. And I'm just like, put something on it and you can iron it back on and it'll, you know, re-adhere to the shirt. And then I'm like, well, how are you washing it? Or they was like, oh, I'm just putting it in the regular wash. I was like, well, I sent the card that had the care instructions. Oh, I don't even know what I did with that. I ain't paid that no mind. I thought it was like a little cute something. something. I'm like, yo, now I, <laughs> it's a care instruction for a reason. And I'm going to show you uh, my care instruction. Give me one second. All right, I'm back. So this is what my care instructions look like let's see and these ones i just looked at them and i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna be but it, i mean it kind of looks like it's a design but it was where the printer was acting um crabby but this is you see the top the printer was acting funky but um these are the care instructions that I made. It's shaped like a little t-shirt and I go and I stick it on the, it's on the outside of the packaging and everything. So I send care instructions and you just want to tell them how to wash their shirt so it doesn't get messed up or anything like that. So um, those are important to put with your vinyl t-shirt. Sublimation, you don't really have to worry about anything, so I don't add it to it. I also have tumbler care instructions, so it's shaped like a little tumbler, and I just sit it inside the cup, so I know they're going to see it, but they probably just look at it and, you know, do whatever. But you want to put it so if anything happens to their cup or their shirt, you're like, look, this is I gave you the instructions on how to take care of it properly so you can get multiple wears out of it. Um, if That's on them if they didn't follow them. So you're covered by giving them the care instructions. And then I also have like a little wine glass. I do wine glasses as well. And it kind of has the same instructions as the tumbler care, but it's shaped like a, um, a wine glass. So I believe I purchased this from Etsy. Someone, because her... Um, her, uh, shoot, I can't get it out. Her colors up here, like you probably can't see it. Well, you can. It's blue. Well, her original one was like 
red or pink or something like that but i reached out to her and was like well can you do it in a blue because of course i wanted to match my logo so she was able to do it and then she sent me the file and you just have it forever and then you just print as many all you know as many as you need at that time and then if you come back later you can do it or whatever so that's what i um use and i got those off of the file or whatever from etsy so you can make them yourself i um, mean any type of software or whatever i was just starting out and i didn't really research it and i just took like the easiest way because i was just like you know what this is already done it's not that expensive ma'am can you put it in blue lettering boom i printed it out <laughs> and i did this last year sometime and i still have the files i just go on my computer cut out how many i need and i'm you know i'm done so i don't have to worry about i didn't have to worry about making a flower making a, i didn't so sometimes just because we do diy and we craft and sometimes you just don't have to do it yourself all the time sometimes if you need to or it's too hectic or anything like that you can source out and get it that way it's nothing wrong with it um so that's what i did if that's what you want to do too go ahead um but like i said care instructions are very important when you're packaging because it helps um helps you if something goes wrong with the product or whatever so if they put their tumbler in a dishwasher you're like hmm it says no dishwasher hand wash or whatever so you're kind of covered but um let me just make sure i went over everything as far as packaging you want to make basically you want to give them an experience when they open up their package or they get their package but you don't want to burn out your pockets you don't want to break the bank on the packaging or anything like that so just use other methods to dollar tree amazon are some good sites to really ball on a budget type thing so because you don't want to break the bank when it comes to packaging or anything like that because nine times out of ten the people are just really interested in the packet or in their product but they do take heed to like oh wow she did put this in there oh look she did do this they do take heed to that but it's some some people just oh god yeah yeah i got my they ain't even looking at your tissue paper they not even looking at your custom this they custom that they just basically like yes i got my shirt let me put my shirt on boom and a thank you card they really do appreciate that especially if you got a discount code on it they love that but a personalized thank you card or just a regular um i shouldn't say generic thank you card because you put your you know your time and stuff to write it but thank you cards like that and stuff they love that um especially if you put your their name on it they love that as well it's like a you know like i said um make it a presentation make it an experience but don't break your pockets doing it um what else oh and don't break your pockets with shipping it so package it so your shipping does not cause you an arm and a leg uh, let me make sure I got boxes, bubble wrap, tissue paper, peanuts, custom boxes, care instructions, business cards. I think that's it. Um, also, just kind of like after you ship it, after they get their product, you want them to send you a review. So on my, um, no, that's my business card. I have little small thank you cards to fit in my small bubble mailers. There we go. And they are shaped like my business cards. But um i say thank you i tell them if they love it kind of tag us on facebook or instagram showing off your items um i tell them if they need any help you know what to do and i i do not do refunds i may do exchanges depending on the exchange but um and these times today is really no exchanges but if it's something that i may have messed up or whatever i may you know redo the item or something like that just, it just kind of depends um and then I do like a special offer, you know, like a thank you. And then I just, uh, again, remind them to, you know, like follow us, tag us or whatever. So just, you know, make sure they leave you a review, good or bad. It'll help your business. It'll help you grow. It'll get your business out there because the more people leave reviews, people are like, oh, okay, they are actually buying from this person. Um, and if they tag you, they're tagging their 
your business, but their friends are seeing it. So their friends are like, oh, okay, she do look, I like that shirt. Oh, I do like that bracelet. Let me check her out or check that business out and stuff. So you just want them to tag, tag, tag. I also thought of, I have not done it yet, um, doing surveys. So the people who sign up, because on my website, it'll say like join, um, like join our mailing list or something like that. And a lot of people have left their emails and stuff. So um, I'm thinking about sending them surveys out. And if whoever answers back the survey, they may get like a special discount code or something like that. Just kind of just so I get some feedback on my business to see how I'm doing. How did you like your product? How did you like, you know, my the service? How did you like the packaging? So I can get some ideas on what I can improve on and um, what they may like or whatever. And then I'm also thinking about doing like a little um, survey group, not a survey group, like a testing group, like getting the people who actually subscribe to my um, mailing list, maybe sending them like small products or sending them um, email blasts, just asking them what they would think about this. If I offered this, would you may be interested in with your family, with your friends, you know, stuff like that. And then may even be mailing them stuff or get them, giving the people who actually take the time out to share and to like and to comment and to purchase your stuff. You want to give them more incentive to get your, get your business out there because right now, Word of mouth and social media is like the biggest things um, to boost your business up, especially word of mouth. Because if somebody says something bad about your business, boom, you are you may not get any more customers, you know. So you want to kind of see how you can improve and see what you can do better as far as your business is concerned. Um so I'm just thinking about doing things like that. And I hope that those tips, if you want to implement them in your business, they'll help you out too. Um, especially if you just have a website solely, because right now I have Etsy, but I have not really put a lot of stuff on Etsy um, because I've heard the fees are ridiculous and all the other good stuff. So, and with Etsy, you don't have as much control as you would with your website. However, Etsy kind of brings people to your website. So I'm kind of thinking about putting more stuff on my Etsy so I can get more um, notice, recognition, and stuff like that. Um, also, if you do YouTube, I do YouTube. I have two channels, actually. Um, you can get your business name out there too that way as well. Or you can send your stuff to bigger YouTubers. And if they want to, um, they can promo your stuff or whatever. So it's kind of like, you know, just doing things like that to kind of get your business off off the ground and to like a running start. Now, maybe you may do like a little slow walk and then you may do like a little jog. And then sometimes you're like... <gasps> But, you know, you'll get there eventually. It takes time and then it's ups and downs. You may not make as much as you made the last month and stuff like that. So just kind of think about those things as well. But, um, and that's just going off on something else. I'm going to talk about something else. And that thing went off on packaging. But I'm going to go back to packaging, y'all. Um, but those are just a couple things that I just wanted to share with you today as far as packaging if you want to see more videos such as this, go ahead and just put it down in the comments down below. If you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you're watching this and you enjoyed it and you want to see more videos, like I said, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. All right, y'all. Until next time, peace.